Hello everybody, it's the Farm Sim Guy here, hope you're all doing well. We are in for another little treat today. We have got uh, an early preview look at Greenlands from Peter716, who has sent me an early release copy of his map that he's just sent to the Mod Hub for approval, which will be on PC and console, and I thought we'd have a quick look at it. Um, now, some of you might know Peter716, uh, he was the creator of New Park Farms, and actually, uh, I have a, a little bit of a, a soft spot for Peter and his maps, purely because uh, when I did a, a little series on New Park Farm, when my channel was very small and starting out, that I uh, uh, it became my most popular series at the time, uh, and I did a no-debt challenge on it and it was it was great fun and a lovely lovely little map and it's very clear from this map that he's taken everything he learned from doing new park farm and turned it into an absolutely brilliant brilliant map his attention to detail is is second to none i'm really really impressed with this so let's have a look at the map there you go obviously a much bigger map than his first map um but even by looking at the pda you can see the amount of time and effort that's gone into this it's it's phenomenal so like I said, uh, it's going to be on PC, Mac, and console. So if you're on console, get really hyped about this because it looks like a fantastic little map. Um, it is a fictional map uh, based on a load of real areas of the UK. And for somebody who lives in the UK and has farmed in the UK, I can say it feels really, really authentic. Uh, there's a hundred fields on it, lots of different shapes and sizes. Uh, he's put a village in there as well uh, called Greenlands, uh, which he didn't include in his first map. Uh, also lots of areas uh, for forestry as well as uh, farm work. There's a biogas plant, a grain mill, a sawmill, uh, lots of storage yards uh, and uh, it will have contracts on all 100 fields when it's released. It's seasons and precision farming ready as well which is fantastic um, and there are three main farms on it. So the main farm here uh, Greenland's farm has got cows, pigs, sheep, grain storage and three silage pits. Uh, down here in the bottom right corner is Greenside Farm, which is beef, uh, cattle and sheep, as well as uh, two silage pits as well there. And then up at the top here, we've got Roadside Farm, which has got pigs and grain storage. Um, what I'm going to do, we'll start off at the shop here, uh, we'll jump in a truck and we'll do a, a little bit of a clockwise tour around the map. So we'll go straight through Greenland's village first. Uh, and take in all of the buy and sell points there and then we'll take a nice scenic drive up here uh, have a look at each farm I'm interested in this at the top corner there's some uh, some spaces there that look interesting that don't have any markings on so again as well as the three farms there might be the opportunity to create your own space up here through the forestry area and down look at the biogas the sawmill uh, and then we'll finish up uh, at the end at Greenland's farm itself so let's jump into it so here we are at the shop uh, Nice size shop here, uh, ATM there, uh, a buy point and a repair point, nicely laid out. Uh, a little New Holland and Crone logos there as well. If you want a little bit of a direction as to a sort of machinery you, you would expect to use on here, let's open the gate, shall we? There's traffic going past the gate. Let's jump in our... Lump in our truck. And we'll do our little tour. So straight away, uh, you'll see these close hedges and, and hedgerows next to the roads. That is very British, very authentic. Uh, it's very lush and green, which is nice. You can see, um, actually, one thing I'll note over here, um, what Peter716 does really well in his maps is some beautiful contouring. So lots of shapes um, and dips and hollows and rises in the in the farmland, which makes it look great. These fantastic houses, look, you can even see inside them, there's somebody with a rather large TV there. Um, really, really nice. So we'll just drive through the village here and around here. Fantastic church there as well. Little side lane that heads up off the map. Doesn't head anywhere that, but um, just a nice little detail as well. We'll just pull into the church here, let this tractor go past, because again, the amount of time he's taken to landscape this is uh, beautiful, really, really nice. So um, it's worth checking out for sure. Right, let's head out of here. There's a shop here, as you can see, and a post office. Now the shop there, that car behind is just going to have to wait a second. Yeah, yeah, calm down. Audi driver, typical. Uh, that's your egg cell point. 
So um, if you've got eggs, you can sell them at the shop there. Let's head on. Oh, it's going to be a road rage incident here. Um, there's your fuel stop, where you can fit up, fill up with fuel. And um, if we turn up here, we get to our first little farm space. So if I just jump out of here, vault the gate. Now this, although there's nothing here marked on the map, this is two rather nice uh, sheds. There's one here and there's one here. And one rather large silage bunker, which is great. So um, no farmhouse or anything like that, but extra storage if you want it. Looks pretty good. Uh, nice double gates to get into the fields as well, so you don't have to use tiny machinery. You can you can use some of the machinery, uh, some of the bigger stuff, which I know we always like to do. Now, if we head up here, um, this is uh, the auction center. And basically what you've got in here is your animal buy point, which is just there. And if I drive around the buildings, we have a shed here, which is our sell point for bales, which goes in there, and wool just there. So two sell points there, and I do believe uh, as well, if we just drive around here, we have got our milk sell point as well. So very handy, all three cell points together there. Nice to see. And uh, now we'll head straight back out of here. Super narrow British roads. Rural country roads, love it. And then out of here. Let's hope that Audi's not going to tailgate us again. We'll head down here and this is the grain mill. This is our grain cell point again. Lovely placeable there and some bins. Um, really nicely detailed, so very nice. I think we all know what that will do. Dump all your crops in there. Don't let these cars go past. Now what we're going to do, we're going to head up. We're going to go up to Roadside Farm, which is at the top of the map. Um, and again, just to let you take in some of these fields. You see the dips in the road here? And then you climb up the other side. That is such a feature of British farmland and, and the countryside. Nothing's ever flat in the UK. Uh, lovely river running through the map as well. That's been really nicely detailed. And these field sizes are great. They're not so massive, uh, but they're not tiny either. Um, I think there's something for everybody on this map, no question. Lots of grassland as well. Uh, you'd fully expect to do a lot of silage work um, in the UK, so... Um, He's he's put a lot of grass grassland in the map ready to uh, ready to harvest. So here we are. We're pulling up onto roadside farm here. You can already see the pig pens there. So we'll pull in here and we'll have a look. It looks like he's got a fuel point here as well, which is nice. Let's see if I get beat at again while I open my own gate. Nice to say the sign on the uh, farm as well. Nice touch. So here we are. Let's have a little walk around, shall we? So there's your pigs. There's your slurry point and your manure point. I guess that's your animal point, yep. Around here, lots of nice uh, shed space. Slightly narrow opening there. Some lovely big open spaces there to re reverse into. Lovely big shed here as well. Little grain silo here as well, reverse into, drop your uh, drop your crops off. So there's a lovely little farm actually, really nicely laid out. Access to the fields, um, single gate into a field here, quite a big grass field there. And again, just showing you the, uh, the shape of the map, the dips and the ebbs and the flow of the map. Really nice, really, really nice. Okay. Roadside farm. Guys, that's nice, isn't it? Really nice. There's your fuel buy point as well, so you can fill up in here. And, and a rather nice rather nice farmhouse. Very nice. Love that. Beautiful little farm. It's compact, but not so um not so tight you'd struggle to get machinery around. 
That's uh, that's what I like about that. Now we're right at the top of the map here. And you can turn down and look down into the valley. And you can see where we've been. There's the town. But again, lots of fields. This is a really, really nice map. He's done an awesome job on this. So we're heading along this top road here. Uh, I did say there was a couple of places along here that looked interesting. Uh, and there's one of them ahead. Not marked on the map as farms, not classed as farms, but um, interesting nonetheless. So just here is the first one. I'm going to pull into here. Woodview Farm. So there is another farm here. A farm that you could buy and put your own placeables on, make it your own. There's a nice little bit of flat land in front of it. So a couple of big sheds, entrance to a field. But again, you could uh, make this into your own, which is always a nice touch, I think. Uh, on a map, is as well as pre-made farms, if you want to just jump in and do stuff. Um, open spaces uh, that you can convert to your own nice house as well. So, nice touch. Okay, let's head down here. Um, lovely dip in the road here. Actually reminds me of uh, a little place near me. That dips into a forest area. And you're into this forestry space over a bridge here. Over the, uh, over the river. That's very Scottish, that, actually. And now you're into a huge forestry area. This is, uh, this is massive, which, again, just helps... Helps the variety on the map, so if you want to do a bit of logging, or a bit of forestry, um, you are not short of trees to get stuck into. I think there looks like there's a couple of uh, yeah little entrances here into fields, and there you go, there's a forestry track into there to start cutting into as well. Very nice. Okay, over the ridge here, and we will be arriving very soon at the sawmill and the biogas plant. So again, there's another area of forestry down there that kind of loops around and almost joins up with the uh, with the sawmill. So let's uh, let's just pull in at the sawmill here and have a look what's what in here. So there we go. Greenside sawmill again. Nice and compact. There's your sell point for your logs and your wood chips. Lovely. And out of here... We'll just head around the corner here. Somebody's building their own house there. Nice touch. We'll drop down again a very steep little embankment. Again, incredibly authentic. And here is our biogas plant. So, let's have a look in here. Looks like there's loads of silage uh, bunkers in here. So you can get some severely big silage crops in here. So there you go. Silage, manure, digestate, cell point, and buy point, all good. All good, nice. Nicely laid out as well. Liking that a lot. Right, try not get hit by a truck. So we'll head along here, and we are going to pull into... Greenside farm, I believe this is. Slightly smaller farm. Yep, there we go. Greenside farm. So again, gates off into smaller fields here. This is quite a nice one if you want to start a farm. Um, there's the farmhouse. Nice little track up the side there. Your fuel point. Just jump out here. A couple of silage bunkers there, that's nice. Cow shed, nice decent sized cow shed, slurry point. Manure point there, some storage sheds. Uh, pen there, feeding pasture. 
lovely. That's for your sheep, I think, and your cows over here. There'll be a cow pasture out the back here as well, I expect, for the cows to walk around in as well. That's right, yep. Nice farm sheds as well. Like I said, he's done his homework. I'm pretty sure he uh, has worked or lives on a British farm because this is super authentic. Stuff here that you would only feel belonged on a British farm if you worked or lived on one for sure. And I could totally relate to that because some of this feels very much like home when I was growing up. Okay. We're going to head out of here and we will drive up to the main farm, which is just along here. Again, opportunity to take in some of the fields uh, and some of the scenery. It is really, really nicely done. Really nicely done. Hats off. So here we are at the main farm, Greenland's farm. You can see the village over there in the distance. Lovely long road down to it, which is nice. And this will be where, if you start a new farmer mode, which we've done on this tour, this is where you will see all the machinery you'll start out with. And it's a nice little collection, actually. So um, let's stop here. There's the farmhouse. If you've played New Park Farm, you'll recognize that from that. And we head into here, uh, and this is this is the biggest farm, no question. So lots of shed storage here. Like I said, you've got uh, available to your cows, pigs and sheep here. Uh, grain storage as well. Uh, there's your milk tank. That's your sheep point there. That's I'm guessing that's where your, uh, where your wool will appear. And we'll head down here. Uh, big cow sheds in the back there, that's great. Uh, a couple of silage bunkers there as well. Uh, storage. I'll run through the machinery in, in a little minute. Uh, there's your uh, silo for your grain. Uh, sheep there. And more storage over there. And another silage bunker, I believe. Yep, so three silage bunkers here. This is a great farm. Really nice. You could literally do everything from here, which is nice. Nice little paths up into the fields as well. Um, Fantastic. What a beautiful farm. Um, what you get in new farmer mode here is a lovely collection of stuff. So you've got a, a little Massey, uh, a decent sized Fent and a T6 New Holland. Uh, a nice John Deere combine, a T560. Uh, the pickup truck I bought so you don't get that. Um, trailer. You've got a corn header there, a plow, nice cultivator. Uh, a nice big planter, cedar, beg your pardon. Um, fertilizer spreader, uh, front and rear mowers, uh, a tedder and a windrower. A nice uh, pickup wagon, a round baler, a leveler. Uh, a front loader with all the attachments, uh, a couple of weights, a uh, header trailer there. And then you're into all the placeable uh, farms that you've got. Uh, which you can remove if you want. If you want to change the way your farm looks, you're welcome to do that. Uh, but a really nice starting set of kit there, which will uh, keep you going for a long time. Um, so, if you're new to the game, and you want to try a different map that isn't one of the base maps, this would be awesome. Uh, and likewise, if you're a seasoned player, um, there's a lot on this map to keep you challenged, for sure. Um, imagine some of the massive silage harvests you could do on here. It would be awesome. Uh, I love this map. This is a this has been a fantastic uh, little tour round. I am I am heavily impressed with this. Really, really like it. So there you go, folks. That was Greenlands by Peter Seven One Six. Like I said, this has been submitted to the Mod Hub, so uh, hopefully it will be approved in the not too distant future for PC and console. So console guys, get hyped because this is going to be an awesome map for you guys. And uh, yeah, look forward to it. Absolutely stunning work. Absolutely stunning work. I'm really, really impressed with this. So, P2716, congratulations to my friend. I wish you all the success with this map because uh, it really deserves it. So, from me for now, the Farm Sim Guy, thank you very, very much for watching, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.